This is Mark from Dalton Clock Repair. We're visiting our client today. His name is Mark. And we're returning an antique clock that I have restored. Now Mark has something very interesting in his house. He has a 17 rank pipe organ that installed in one whole wing of his house. And he's uh, graciously let us bring in the cameras and film all the details of the pipe organ. We even get a chance to hear it playing. So, come on inside with us. Uh, this is the console of a theater pipe organ, and this was built in, a, in the 20s. This particular console started life at the, uh, the State Theater, which was uh, in Philadelphia. Uh, the console was only part of the organ. The, the things that actually make the sound, you'll see in a minute, are the pipes. And this particular organ now has 17 ranks of pipes. And that means that there's a, a rank could be like a clarinet or a trumpet or a violin. So it actually uh, uh, indicates a, a type of a sound or even a depiction of, a, of an well, instrument. Well, it's a whole family of pipes of the same thing. And uh, there's 61 notes on the keyboard, so there's at least 61 pipes in a, in a, a rank. But very often with these switches and stops, you can uh, get a you can get an extra 12 notes on top or an extra 12 notes on the bottom so that the rank would be more than 61 notes. This console has moved around quite a bit. As I say, it started life in, in the Philadelphia. Then it moved out to the Brookline Theater in uh, Havertown. Then it went to the uh, co uh, College Theater, I think it is, in Phoenixville. From there, it went into storage for a while. Then it went into the John Wanamaker store and actually played the huge organ in the John Wanamaker store for a couple of years. Oh, this was actually in Wanamaker's this, as their organ. This and, was what they played the organ from while they were redoing their console. Oh, OK. okay. So this thing sat, That's up interesting. And, sat up in the shoe department and played the organ three times a day wow. in the Wanamaker store for about wow. two years. And then it went back into storage, and that's when I acquired it. Now, the organ, this is a Kimball uh, console, and the organ itself, which consists of the pipes, is about half Kimball and half Wurlitzer. And uh, if you'd like to take a look at some of the pipes, I can show you those now. But before you do that, you can look up here, and this is the percussion department of the organ. And there's things like uh, tambourine, and there's a cymbal, and there's a cast and there's a bass drum. So everything related to percussion is up here in this, this portion up here. Oh, okay. piano right from the organ console. That's amazing. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> and a train whistle. My son would like that. <laughs> what would you call that? It's, uh, it's, I call it a siren, but it's not really a siren. It has a name, and I forget. Uh. And those are actually the orchestra, the percussion section of an orchestra would have all of those. Things. Okay. And then this is very loud. That's a loud one, yeah. And oh, of course. I have to have to end it on the on the. <laughs> But that'd be like a, an old style, like a, a, a car horn or something. Needs a little adjusting. Yeah. This is a fire bomb. <laughs> and these are horses, so. <laughs> that's, that's that's amazing. Now, how many? Uh, just as I asked, how many effects, uh, percussion effects, do you believe you have here? I've never counted. Exactly. <laughs> tell you. That's amazing. Um, but there's a. Uh, I mean, there's For every situation, you have a sound. <laughs> then, the, then the actual pipes, and you want to look in here. Uh, it's a little messy in here, but that's... The back rooms of all these places usually are. Wow. These Are these functioning pipes here? Yeah, right, I'm looking at right this, in front of me here? These are the speakers. Yeah, this is the... Uh, it's the way entertainment systems used to be. Yeah. Now, these are called reeds here, if I'm correct, right? The, the, the uh, metal ones. This, this is a this is a trumpet. Okay. Which a trumpet. is a reed. Okay. This is a this is a bass flute pipe. Okay. And, uh, well, maybe they can take a shot through here. And this contains all the reeds and, and, and pipes, this one room here, right? It, it, well, there's two rooms. Two rooms. I mean, over here is the other Yeah, room. wow. But this is all the, the, uh, the, the sound making pipes. It, that's the Vox Humana back there, and this is the cla or, uh, saxon. It's not something you see in most people's houses. No. And some of the larger pipes are back there. You, you want to walk back through? Sure, if we could. Just try not to, uh, yeah, I'll stay kind of right out here and just kind of... These little thin ones are the violins. Wow. This is the clarinet up here. I see what looks like louvered doors over here, is that correct? That, over here. Yeah. That's how the sound gets out. Oh, so uh, it's automatic. The, no, it's not automatic, but okay. they open. They open when, when it comes time, time for them to be heard. Of, 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 of the gotcha. If you want the organ to be louder, okay. you open them, or, and they open from the top down. So. Wow. Well, I can't wait to hear this. Now we've gone down to the basement and we have some more uh, devices here which I guess are meant to handle the flow of air. This it is and, uh, and these supply, and the reason there's so many of these is the various sets of pipes. Uh, when you put the tremolo on, you have different tremolos, so when the tremolos are on these things shake up and down yeah, okay. and give a sort of a, a tremolo on it. Interesting. There. And the air is coming in from outside, and the long arms are walked out there, and it's fed along here. Now you can come also over here. This stuff under there is relatively modern. I see. Uh, and yeah, what's that stuff doing here? <laughs> yeah, well, the old stuff was a, a, a pain in the neck. Yeah. <laughs> The, the controls to operate this organ would take fill up a room practically this size, mm -hmm. and it's been replaced by just that wall stuff. It's much more reliable. Yeah. 
we this, have more. This is the bottom of the chest. And this is. No, oh, this is the, the room we were. Well, were we upstairs? That's right. Okay. And wow, the, look at all this that. This is the mechanism which actually plays the pipe. And those, look at the wire connections there. Oh, I hear it. Okay. So they're like solenoids, right? I guess like well, kind of not, open up. They're not solenoids. Uh, I'll show you what it actually looks like. I mean, I guess you might call it a solenoid, but let's see if I can have one there. They have the, just these things sit inside those caps. Okay. And there's a little magnet, and this little big. It, it doesn't move okay. a thirty-second of an inch, but it just moves just enough up. What the earth and it, it 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 closes the air from going one place and lets it come out this okay. way. And that causes uh, there's little pneumatics inside, and when the, the right. air supply is cut off to the pneumatic, the pressure slams it shut okay. and opens the valve, and that's how the pipe. Wow. Okay. Very cool. This is a Spencer. Organ blower. Now uh, we are actually outside now, and it looks like it was at one time maybe a spring house, but I guess this was actually built. It was built. It was actually built for for this. The actual, this is the blower motor. You you call what you call it that? Yeah. Well, it's a blower, and there is a motor that drives it. Uh huh. Okay. And it just supplies the the it's got wind. Great big fans on it. Wow. Spin around, and this it's, supplies a lot of wind. And this is some. Um, what would you say 20 yards or so from the actual house? Yeah. So we're in a separate house here, and the wind is actually being produced in this unit here, That's being right. fed inside. Is it underground? That's right. To the actual unit itself. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's what we've been waiting for here. Mark's going to play a tune for us.
memory, no. <clears throat> now, Mark, you have a, uh, a device here that allows you to put floppies in, and the organ will play by itself. And you have, I guess, a number of tunes, different tunes on these floppies. So we'll demonstrate that. moving on the on the organ I thought maybe it might like a player piano this is more modern <laughs> the keys don't have to move This is Mark for Dalton Clock Repair. Thanks for tuning in.